So today's video is going to be on the uh, brake pad, rear brake pad replacement on a Toyota Corolla 2020 XSE with the emergency parking brake. Now you got to put the parking brake, the electronic parking brake in service mode. And I was having a bit of problem doing that. I tried it three or four times and it wasn't working. So I'm just going to explain how to do it and not show you. But you, uh, if you have a key, you turn it two spots forward to the ignition position. Or if you have a push button, you want to hit it twice. First time it goes to accessory, second time it goes to ignition. Have it on ignition and then you put your foot on the brake and you hit the brake button three times down quickly, three times up quickly and then you'll see the parking light flashing on your dashboard that's when you push down on the button and hold it for quite a while and you will hear the electric motor backing up it uh, I'm sure you're all used to the sound of it it takes like two seconds to engage the parking brake when you're releasing it and you press the button down it'll be like more like 10 11 seconds well, it fully backs out. And then you'll know your uh, emergency parking brake is fully disengaged so that you can press the, uh, the piston back into the caliper once you've uh, taken your brakes off. And you have to do this because you cannot press the piston back in with the emergency brake. It is way stronger than you are and you'll damage it. And even if you do succeed, when you go to use it again, it won't know what's going on. And it won't work properly. So you have to disengage it completely. And I'll just pause this while I set up. Okay, we've jacked the rear of the car up. The Toyota Corolla has a nice jacking point that I can actually get this jack on. As you can see there, a little tab that sticks out near the axle. And We have the car down on jack stands. I just leave the jack there because it's not in the way and it's uh, just an extra point to hold the car up. I let it down onto the jack stands and then I just tighten the handle so the car's actually got three points that it's sitting on. And the next step is to remove the wheels. Most Toyotas are, the cars and SUVs are 21 millimeter lug nuts. And you have the special lug nut that fits a 21. I like to put them on by hand and make sure they're tight because they're, uh, they fit kind of precise.
I am not a mechanic. Everything I do, I do by watching YouTube videos and, uh, <coughs> and learning as I go. So, uh, let's get this wheel off. And you went for a little tumble. Still rolling. Pretty windy out there today. Let's see how you're lined up again. I got a new uh, phone and there's a button right in the middle of the phone for the for the stand so it, the camera might not be exactly level I can't use my old phone because I gave it to my daughter This in a lug nut. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Oh, that came off rather easily. I just rotated them about uh, 3,000 kilometers ago. Yes, many of you might ask, why didn't you change the brakes when you rotated the tires? And the reason would be that uh, I was going to buy... I haven't touched these brakes since new. There's 90,000 some kilometers on the car. And... Uh, I've never had brakes last that long, so I was going to buy Toyota brakes and rotors, but uh, can't get them. They've been back ordered since the guy at the dealership told me August. In the middle of August, they haven't been able to get brakes, brake rotors or, or pads, so that is why. I didn't change back then, and I ordered some aftermarket ones, and uh, I'm hoping they last as long as these ones did. So now that you get the wheels off, first thing you want to do is take the caliper off, or this part right here. Like I said, I'm not a uh, mechanic. I don't know the terms and names of these things. But you get uh, two bolts right here, which I believe are 14 millimeter. And of course that hose is in the way. So, I can't really 
me see if you guys can see. Hopefully you can. Hose is a pain in the butt. And that's too long. Oh, we're just. That's the difference between somebody that does this every day and me. They know the little tricks and secrets, and I don't. Oh. Get that on there, hurt. Right. It's just turning the boot, so I'm guessing I need a wrench. Living in the rust areas, not fun. Yeah, let's just turn in that whole thing. I guess I need a wrench to hold on to it. I'm not the greatest when it comes to uh, brakes. And of course it's not a 14 millimeter wrench. I'm guessing it's a 17. 